Citibank admits XRP is likely to hit between $100 and $500 in seven months, losing, risking his job. Guys, I'm Crypto Sensei. Welcome back. We're going to be talking about XRP, the new payment system coming by BRICS, and how all of this fits into this new cryptocurrency blockchain role. I also got a great clip by Larry Fink. You're going to want to watch this entire video if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency. Let's get into this. X Block announced that it will work on creating a payment system that is based on blockchain and digital technologies. This new system will settle trades and transactions, and it will effectively become an alternative option to the United States dollar. The move is going to be absolutely crucial in helping the block trade in local currencies, and it will help them reduce their reliance on the dollar, of course. This is yet another step towards de-dollarizing. The blockchain system is going to be part of the BRICS financial system that will allow the member countries to completely avoid using any of the Western transfer systems, such as the SWIFT, for example. The BRICS announced that the system will be available to countries, to businesses, and even to people. The announcement underscored that they do want the system to be completely free of politics, of course referring to Western economic sanctions here. You may recall that I shared an overview of all 2024 BRICS block plans in a recent video. One of the main goals this year is to facilitate BRICS countries' monetary transitions, and this is precisely what we're seeing here. Yuri Oshakov, who is a Russian diplomat, presidential aide, and one of the BRICS representatives, said that they are working to develop what's referred to as the contingent reserve arrangement. So they're working on a reserve that will, in theory, back the currency. So their currency is likely not going to be fiat. This agreement between all BRICS countries will lay out the system regarding the use of local currencies. So we're definitely starting to see the block go beyond just planning. They're actually starting to execute their plans. And you may also recall that Russia is the chair of the BRICS block this year. So the news will likely be announced by the Russian side. And there is no timeline that we know of anyway at this point in time of when the new BRICS blockchain system will be launched. But if you're joining me, we know of anyway at this point in time of when the new BRICS blockchain system will be launched. But if you recall, the BRICS summit is scheduled for October of this year. And All right take place in Kazan, so it might be safe to assume that by that point in time, this new system will be either ready to be launched or we will find out more about the timeline then. Besides the blockchain and digital system, the BRICS block partnered with the Bank of Russia to create the BRICS Bridge multi-sided payment platform that will become part of the global monetary system. So this is yet another step to impact how the financial system worldwide functions. In a post on X, Yuri Ushakov addressed the claims mostly made by Western mainstream media that the BRICS bloc, quote unquote, attacks the United States dollar by creating an alternative system that will free them of Western sanctions. So that's what they're trying to do, right? The BRICS countries are they're tired of being under the US's thumb with the US dollar. And they want to create this new financial system where they can trade between the countries and use something like a cryptocurrency that'll trade stuff instantly, move value instantly and and not be held under anyone's kind of thumb right that's exactly what's trying to do here check this out jack the ripper posted this larry fink is telling you and i played this clip before on this channel he's telling you where these these new financial systems are heading and they're heading to blockchain check this out important to be anticipating the next move we believe the next step going forward will be the tokenization of financial assets and that means every stock Every bond will have its own, basically, QSIP. It'll be on one general ledger. Every investor, you and I, will have our own number, our own identification. We can rid ourselves of all issues around illicit activities of bonds and stocks and digital by having a, 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 a tokenization. But the most important thing, we can customize strategies through tokenization that is, if it's every individual. We would have instantaneous settlement. Think about all the costs of settling bonds and stocks but if you had a tokenization everything would be immediate because it's just a line item and so we believe this is a technological transformation for financial 
facets. I believe if, if you want to talk about like voting and voting choice and all the things, if we know every moment who is the owner of that stock and it's now time to vote, every individual who has ownership is identified and they can vote their own share. When, when you're talking about the U.S. financial system, right, what is the only cryptocurrency inside of the U.S. that actually has legal clarity? It's XRP, right? Well, who has the U.S. government been working with for years on blockchain development and CBDCs? It's been Ripple, right? That is who is at the forefront of all of this. And if there's going to be a new financial system that is going to be based on blockchain, I personally believe that XRP will be used in it. And that is how I can see XRP going to an extremely high value. When you tokenize trillions of dollars of stocks, bonds, and derivatives, and you bring it onto a certain blockchain, that is really, my friends, where we can go into the thousands or tens of thousands of dollars in value. A Ripple plus NPCI credit. Ripple is in talks with NP. PCI banks for AC transfers globally. Uh, unlike Swift, a messaging platform which is dominant medium for global payments, Ripple is a messaging as well as a settlement platform. And it does talk a little bit about here. Google-backed payment company Ripple is in talks with banks in India and the National Payments Corporation of India, NPCI, to facilitate account-to-account -account transfers globally without having to be a part of any payment network. Access Bank and Yes Bank are the first Indian banks to come on board with Ripple, which which has already has 75 customers globally, unlike Swift. We also have this, R so it says, RBI approves NPCI launched interoperability payment system for internet banking. The reverse, the reverse bank of India, the RBI governor, uh, I'm not gonna even try to say his name. Uh, well, maybe I'll try it. Shah, Shah, nope. I'm gonna screw it up. All right, screw, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just gonna bypass that. On March 4th, said that the central bank was given the approval by the NPCI Barup Bill Pay Limited NBBL to launch interoperable payment systems for internet banking to facilitate quicker settlement of merchants. Guys, if you want to know what's happening in crypto, you want to be in Cryptoneers. We just we raised the price to $100 a month. We have been screaming right now. We've made we've made 25,000% on projects that we have posted in the last 3 months. It's truly insane. I just turned $3,000 into 80 grand in 10 days by a project that I found and called in the AI and D-pin space and I got a lot more where that came from. So, if you want to know the next 100x project, join Cryptonaires. There's going to be a link down in the description. It's totally up to you what you want to do. BRICS isn't about creating a new currency. It's a fundamental shift in global alliance. You don't need a reserve currency to store money. There's a million things. You, you can store it in a basket. You can store I can sell you something in Zimbabwe dollars. A microsecond later, convert them to Japanese yen. So you don't need this big pile of dollars everywhere. And, and people are talking about the BRICS and how oh, that'll be a stupid right. currency that'll never get likes. The BRICS, is, the BRICS is not about a currency. I don't think that people talk about the BRICS and currency have it right. The BRICS is about a fundamental shift in alliances in the world. You've got 20 countries, including Arabs, saying, we're going to go with Russia and China. You take the BRICS seriously. That is a fundamental. You're, yes. you're watching them and saying they mean business. Well, not just that, there are 20 countries saying we're not aligning with the United States now. We're aligning with Russia, China, India. Yeah. This is a revolt. He kind of forgot which the BRICS nations were right there, but it's all good. It's all good. And Citibank thinks that XRP can go to $100 to $500. Citibanker admits XRP is likely to hit between $100 and $500 in seven months, risking his losing his job. The XRPL is going to run thousands of DeFi transactions. Crazy thing is the top DeFi tokens, the C, uh, CTF, is sitting only around $0.30. Cents. This is kind of an older post, guys. March. This is actually reposted today, March 6, 2024. But... But Citibank, one of the biggest banks in the world, thinks that XRP is going to $100 to $500, right? As this world moves to this new currency, this is where we're going to find extreme wealth. If we're just regular people, we're not going to be able to hit the lottery and win $100 to $200 million. We have to find the technology that's going to be used globally. That is what we want to invest in, right? I am not a financial advisor, so please don't take anything I say as financial advice. This is my research. This is what I'm doing and this is what I'm investing in and I am going hard into XRP, D-PIN, and AI projects right now. That is where I'm really focused. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Aloha.